customer at this house has got lots of problems with um, a green sort of slime lodging in their showers. Uh, it's a mega flow cylinder. I've seen this issue before, especially with cylinders about this age. This was put in in 2009. Uh, the problem is that the baffle falls apart, so there's a there's an internal baffle to create an air gap inside the cylinder. And uh, to deal with expansion, and that baffle deteriorates, crumbles into pieces, and then blocks up all the outlets. And also, it stops the, the expansion process happening within the cylinder. We popped out the immersion heater so that we could put a camera in to have a look at the baffle, but it's filled with steam, the cylinder, where it's really hot still. So what we've done is we've filled up the cylinder with cold water just to try to cool it down. But what you can see what's happened, we can see, very hard to tell on the camera. I'm gonna try to oh, get the torch in there. Here we go. There, there's the baffle. Or what's left of it and we'll fish some of that out and you can see it ends up the only th thing i can describe it as is like kendall mint cake mm, yummy. and so there'll be lots of that and the problem is that'll be lodged all over the plumbing system in this house and the customer has another cylinder which you can see we're draining down Another mega flow cylinder here, about seven or eight bathrooms in this house. So it's uh, it's going to be a bit of work to sort out. There's a strainer on the inlet to the cylinder, which we checked, and that was all clear. Shows you exactly what's happening to the baffle. And it just sort of crumbles into a, a pasty, like a paste. So to conclude, um, I've got a bag full of mushed up baffle that we that you saw in the that last part of the video. Uh, we hoovered both the cylinders out. We actually pulled out a lot more than this, but I kept this sample uh, so that we can take this up with the manufacturer. Uh, the reason for the water being brown in the hoovers isn't because the water that we sucked out was brown. It's because the hoovers... We use them for all sorts of um, nasty stuff that we suck up. So the bottom of the hoovers are stained brown. Um, so this is a close up of the baffle plate. And you can see that this, this is how it sort of, you find it lodged around the plumbing. And so this will have made its way around all of the bathrooms and the hot outlets. Customers just had a very nice new kitchen installed and it's going to be a real tricky job uh, that will need lots of perseverance to back flush this out. Also, the customer has a secondary return um, circulated domestic hot water. So it will have made its way into that pump and it would have made its way around that secondary return circuit um, that's run around the, the domestic hot water system in the house. So we've got to change both the cylinders, but we've also got to flush this pipework to try to remove as much of this as possible from shower cartridges, taps, uh, spouts, the end of the uh, taps, the cooker tap in the kitchen, which has got a very fine hose, about the same width as this pen in my hand. 
Um, so quite considerable uh, harm caused by by this baffle breaking up. And as I say, this is the second time uh, I've been doing this for nearly 30 years. This is the second time I've seen this. So it must be something that has happened to other people as well. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you're an installer and you're watching this and you've come across this as well, please drop a comment below so that we can share knowledge and try and help each other out. Thanks very much.